Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. This guy is hated in his own party. He's so shocked that all those people who were praising him, those people who were calling him ego one, following him up and down, say, call, you know, saying you are the best, you know, Mpaka 2051, Mpaka 2090, Mpaka 2050, Mpaka, Mpaka 100, Mpaka Yuru forever, Mpaka what, what, all of them have run away from him, including Mao Sampa including Mao Sampa. You know, I do not support, I do not support PF, I do not support Edgar Lungu. But if all of you run away from your party, who is going to give check and balances to Aka in the HLM? Then, automatically right Nigerian government, let me become the opposition leader of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Zambia, so that I can give check and balances from here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let me give check and balances from here. Because all of you, uh, uh, all of you have, have abandoned, even the, when election was still going on, when the result was being announced, I see people started posting horrible things about the Digalung, about PF. The man that you loved so much, the man that you praised so much, the man that you made your God, Everyone deserted him up to today. Everyone has run. I've run. Everyone. What is wrong? If you all of you run like this, who will give check and balances to Aka in the HLM? There is no president on earth that can rule and deliver perfectly if there is no strong opposition. Opposition is needed. Opposition is needed. Why are you running? <coughs> eh? Why are you running? You know, where, where are you running to? You are running to UPND? To do what in UPND? UPND has a lot and a lot of people already. I mean, UPND, there is no party in Zambia that has intellectuals more than UPND. There are a lot of youths in UPND. Where are you running to? Eh? Eh? You just abandon Eddie Galung just like that. I look at what Ma what Mao Sampa is posting on, on, on Facebook against the party. An ungrateful idiot. Eh? A person that was never loyal to, loyal to UPND, never loyal to Eddie Galungu. They took you from nowhere. They took you. You are, you are, you are, you are one of the worst uh, 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 mayor in the land of Zambia. You did not deliver not even a single project in, in, in Lusaka. On top of that, they called you and they gave you a ticket to stand as an MP. They thank you that you are going to say to PF and Eddie Galungu is to come and turn around and speak against them. This is rubbish. This is nonsense. I do not support PF. But I do not, I don't like what people are doing. You know, what for? There are so many people that, that could stand the material and win it easily. They carried it and gave it to you a silver, silver plate. Instead of, <clears throat> instead of you to say thank you and go to parliament and put fire on Aka in the HLM so that he can deliver. So that you may, you may actually even have uh, you may actually even have uh, uh, an opportunity to bounce back and rule the country. Eh? You turn back. It's not even one month. 
All of you have turned, you are running away from PF. Wow, 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 wow. For what? Eh? You want to run to go and destroy UPN the way you destroyed PF? Eh? This is not, this is not the way, this, this is not the way things are supposed to be done. I'm telling the gospel truth. Mao Sampa is, is the most useless MP, useless uh, 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 mayor that lived in Zambia. What was he doing? He took advantage of Facebook. He took advantage of social media and started entertaining people. Uh, were you called to entertain people or to go and deliver projects? Why did you deliver in Lusaka? After all this failure, PF looked at you and said, Okay, my dear, go and represent us. And you, you under their party, you, you stood and you won. Then you turn back and start speaking rubbish against the party. You are, you are a chameleon. You are a Judas Iscariot. I thank God that HH is a very wise human being. He doesn't entertain a chameleon like you. The reason why you are jumping now speaking evil against the Galunga and your party is simply because they have lost election. If they won election, I know what you are saying against UPND. I know what you are saying against me. I know what you are, what you are saying against Aka in the dilemma. Today you want to turn around the coward. You cannot stand in the parliament eh, and tell the truth and fight for your country for the benefit of your country. You want to run to, to UPND. Eh? You don't want to work. You want to go and eat. Stay there in PF. All of you in PF there, stay there. Be grateful to your party. What are you talking about? <coughs> hmm? It's just that Eddie Galungu was uh, very foolish. He was very pompous and arrogant. I gave him a lot and a lot and a lot of opportunity. He was going to win this election landslide. If he was listening and acting exactly what I was saying, the same way HH was listening and acting, he was going to win this election. Before election, two, uh, uh, two years before the election, I told them to say this election will be decided by the youths. The youths are going to decide what, who is going to be the president. Forget about this thing of ZNBC. The youths don't have time to watch ZNBC. Forget about this thing of uh, going to deliver milli meal and giving this thing. Uh, all the people that day of election, they may not come and vote. The youths are going to be the people that will vote. I said it. I even gave a statistics. I said, you go to Zikta. Edgar Lungu, if you had the power to command Zikta to switch off internet on the day of election, you, you had the power to tell them to give you statistics. How many people are using internet in Zambia? When you see somebody like Sia One is speaking during the election and 30,000 people are watching, in three days' time, it th those 30,000 people translate to 3 million people watching. All of them we are hearing what I was saying. All of them, all of them believe everything that I said. All of them heard everything that I said. Everything that I said. 3 million people per week watching Sia One. I told you that these are the people that will decide what is going to happen. And the many other people that we are watching, you didn't do it. It was only when you discovered that during when the election was already approaching, you discovered that it's true. You are, are, are on social media. They are listening to CR1. They are listening to Alice. They are listening to OC. They are listening to Honorable Kevin. They are listening to all these other, other youths you know, that are speaking. They are listening to them. Then you went and start working with Mwebantu. It was already late. It was already late. I'm telling you, it was already late. And you, 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 you started paying uh, 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 smart ego every day. Then you say Vitarale. It was already late. People have or, people already decided before those things came. If you listen to me that time, the only thing you did was to go and speak to my government. Then my government started threatening me. But I don't fear. I don't know what fear look like. You can threaten what you want, but there is nothing you can do. It didn't work. I gave free advice. You didn't listen. You know, you didn't listen. You didn't listen. You believed from your side that you knew everything. All the people that were stealing with you, 
then we are telling you ah, forget about it uh, forget about it nothing is going to happen nothing is going to happen today what happened the youths heard us everything we say we told them when you vote don't leave the place protect your vote they voted and they protected their vote i told them go and vote in number they came and they voted in number everything we said they listened to us while we are busy uh, uh, deceiving yourself in ZNBC and deceiving yourself in these other places, youths already decided from social media. I can't tell them I won the election from social media. Mao Sampa is what he is today because of social media. You know, you underrated everything because you believe that you are wise. You believe that you had the power. You know, you had everything. The money that you stole, the billions that you stole, together with your daughter Tracila and all that blinded you. You thought that you had everything. And you thought that you were going to rig this election. I told you from the beginning to say, you, will, you are not going to manage to rig this election. I said it. You didn't listen to me. If you were wise, you were going to make an amendment. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You were going to make an amendment. And believe me, I don't want to say something now it's too early but uh, you yourself as pf destroyed your party you yourself as pf will build your party stop running away and running to upnd this is dj mutati exclusive all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.